Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to the FF Dynasty's Married to the Game podcast. Hit us up on Twitter if you'd like to join in on the discussion at the FF Dynasty. We're going to keep going with our rookie wide receiver breakdowns. We're going to get into a guy who's one of my favorite players to watch, and he was kind of at the top of my board for a while watching him play because he's so explosive down the field. We're going to get into a little James Washington. Yeah, what let's you, do it. What do, you, what do you got on little James over there? Oh, I got I got all sorts of stuff. I How mean, much time you got? Right. <laughs> but, I mean, this was a guy who did work at the Senior Bowl. Yeah, drew a lot of praise for his release moves and right. was just tearing up practice, and he's all awesome, and then the combine And the comes. combine strikes, so not good at football anymore. Can't be good if you're not fast and jump No way. He ran, a, he, he ran a five or a four, four five, five, four. Four. Like, come on, man. No so way. No what way I, good. What I saw on tape doesn't matter anymore now. Lies, lies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I was a little surprised to see that that that's that forty because I thought it was going to be a little faster than that. But like my, the thought that popped into my head was the same thing that um, who's the NFL Network guy? The the not Mike Mayock. Yeah, Mike Mayock was like he took the words right out of my mouth and he's like, well, he plays a lot faster than that, right? And I was like, exactly. And I mean, there's plenty of guys who run these times who are clearly faster on the field when there's competition in front of him. Right. And it actually matters that you can run right. past this guy. There's plenty of fast guys who don't know what to do and how to get past this defender and how to track the ball and how to catch the ball and do all those kind of things. His on the field speed is just fine. Right. Well, when you can stack a defender, you don't need to be fast because you can control how fast the defender's running. <laughs> you just got to get by him. Yeah, which he does at will almost. Right. Well, I think, you know, you hear a lot of the talk about maybe some of the negative of James Washington is about maybe just being kind of a vertical threat and not a huge route tree and kind of all that stuff. Um, I guess what I would say is just to talk about the offense real quick is the offense is pretty simple. And going back to the roots of kind of where this uh, – Spread that attacks vertically is, is what they called it. Um, it was an offense drawn up by a former quarterback from uh, Cal Penn, Mike Yurich. Uh, he's a former head coach at Shippensburg University. He drew up this offense um, while at Shippensburg. Terrible program. Took it over. Uh, he righted the ship over there and then has gradually worked he, his way. He righted the ship in yeah, Shippensburg. No, no pun intended. <laughs> um, but he's worked his way to Stillwater. Um, and now he's one of like you know the higher the the, the hotter names in the you know, offensive coaching kind of circuit. I think they have uh, the West Virginia coach used to be at Oklahoma State and good coaching genes. Yeah, they got they got a solid tree over there. They they find good up and coming guys, and then you know they eventually lose them. But it's a it's like a good uh, back in the day. good operation over there. Um, but so going back to what he was doing at Shippensburg, you, I read an interview from a former quarterback at Shippensburg who was saying like once he took over this offense. He got out there. He showed them exactly how he wanted to ru- how how he wanted it run, and it was so simple. And they he took a caveman could right. Do he it. took <laughs> he took all the kind of guesswork out. Showed them boys exactly how to do it. Wide receivers, running back, offensive linemen, all that. And then you know he went on to say how everybody on Shippensburg just wanted to get out there and play because in this offense everybody was kind of touching the ball, and that's kind of what goes on at uh at Oklahoma here, like. James Washington role is that field stretching vertical role. He can do other things, but this is what he's asked to do in this offense. Right. And he absolutely crushes it. He has what they call vertical push. Right. And he's he averages like over 20 uh, yards of catch yards for the last catch three for, years. Right. And there's a, well, one of those years is like 19.6. There's plenty of other talent there at, at the running back position. You have Justice Hill. They have Marcel Atman, who also averaged around like 19 yards a catch, I believe. They have a slot receiver in Stoner. Stoner. And I, the other guy's name is eluding me right now. But they have a bunch of good receivers, and they all do different things. Yeah. So it's it's an offense with they everyone has a James role. Washington right. They didn't do everything. That was his role. He there's, did it, and he crushed it. Right. What more do you want from him? Right. There's plenty of catches being had by everyone here in this offense. Right. Other people eating. He, it, it wasn't just him. He didn't have to do everything. Right, and he still ate. He still did his thing. Eight over over a thousand yards for three years in a row. Right, and th- so this is a, just a guy who, who is probably the best part of his game is like just the the greatness and of a ball tracker that he is that goes Man. hand in hand with being a good vertical threat, which James Washington is one of the best. He's um, a center fielder, man. Right. When the ball's in the air, it's his ball. And he's always behind the defender. He's always behind the defender. And, you know, 
they get tired of it, so they start cheating, and he plays through contact like a champion. Sure. Um, you you want to hold him. He's got you. You hand check him. He's going to beat you with that. He's a he's a martial artist. He studied right. martial arts, so his handwork is phenomenal. He's an artist of the martials. Yeah. So this <laughs> this guy's kind of got everything you want in a vertical receiver. Like you can see those eye like the eyes when he's tracking a ball on a vertical route is just tremendous. Yeah, it's Sammy Watkins like. It's it's awesome. He's got those super late hands. He doesn't bring them up. He doesn't tip off the defender. Right. They're last minute hands. These and are all good little parts and pieces and nuances of this guy's game that probably just get taken for granted because how good he is. Right. Not to mention the almost thirty three inch length arms. Extremely long arms for how big he is. He can or how, for, how, for how small he's not small, but right. for his size, I guess is where I was going with that. Right. So he's uh five eleven. 213 he's four inches shorter than Cortland sutton and they have like about the same, the same arms arm length right he can he can scrape the blades of grass for sure he knows absolutely what, what temperature that turf is and when he's leaning over in that stance that also plays into just being that great down the field receiver he just comes up with so many balls you don't think he's going to come up with right and whether he has to you know adjust his his route when the ball's in the air he can fade towards the sideline he can cut it in like he, he can catch it from anywhere and he's He's not necessarily going up in the air and making a play, but right. he's just he's getting behind the defender and coming up. It's like Marvin Jones, like you know, he's, right. he's going to the ground and securing the catch and just coming up with these catches. Like how did how did he just get that? And that's like a fifty yard play. Like he can make your day in one play for sure. And and again, another he he knows how to work his defender. Like he'll. He doesn't tip his hand to kind of what exactly he's doing. He'll do it in a multitude of different ways to to not you know get the guy in any sort of a pattern of, of what he's doing. He'll kind of run straight at the guy and eat up that kind of cushion that you have to give him, and then he'll take you outside. Right. So that, that On his vertical route, like yeah. eat up that cushion, turn you a little bit, and get you outside and get, get the defender's hips off of... Uh, off balance? Off kilter, I would mm, say. like Solid. Gets, gets him turned around enough to, to take advantage of, of uh, his lethal vertical speed even though it didn't show up on uh on the combine on the combine and then well he's got the he's got good hands too at the top of the route he's pretty good and subtle at like pushing off and cheating right to give himself a little bit of that separation like it didn't he didn't get caught with it like we'll talk about this with Cortland Sutton he got called for a fair amount of offensive pass interferences like James Washington was a little more right. subtle but you got to be able to cheat it's a martial arts bro right and then to go along with that with that vertical prowess that he has, that that hitch or the curl or comeback or whatever you want to call it, is is absolutely lethal. Oh, sure. You have to respect him. You have to give him the cushion and just try not to get burned out there. He'll just he'll break you down real quick for for a quick twelve yards without a problem. Um, yeah, like the, he gets knocked for the route running a little bit because it wasn't a, a super diverse route tree like we kind of talked right, about. But that wasn't his that, role, right? Um, but I, I mean, you see the occasional uh, deep slant you see some screen passes a seven yard out here and there the comeback route as you just mentioned but mostly just go down the field bubba because that's what you're good at right. and that's what's gonna and that's what we need you to do he was pretty much always on the right side of the formation he didn't really move around too too much um same thing could be said for juju smith schuster that didn't you know turn out too bad for him play um, at the next level but you did see him go into the slot a little bit um which i think is maybe something that he could continue to right. work well, when, when that's kind of another discussion that people have with him is, you know, maybe he should he should move to the slot, and then other people will argue, well, that's not really his skill set. Like, I, I I can't see how you can say this isn't his skill set. Like, yeah, I, I mean, I feel he definitely's like he, not afraid to go over the middle, right? When and when you did see him go into the slot and and make those moves, he he was a, he was a strong hands catcher and great run after the catch. This is a guy who won time after time with the boundary working against him. If you could teach this guy to work out of the slot where he could go anywhere on the field and still take you vertically. Like I think that would be absolutely ridiculous. And not, I don't think he should go in there full time. I don't think he should be a, a just a straight up slot receiver. I think that would be stupid. Mm -hmm. I think he's great on the outside. He can obviously win on the outside, but I think it's something that you could mix in there. You can't tell me a guy with his kind of talent can't be taught to run routes out of the slot. And it just like we said, I've said it again, you know, he, he can run this like he, I saw him have success running some some shorter routes Absolutely. inside going over the middle, catching the ball and, and keeping it moving with his hands, catching the ball and keeping it moving uh, through the middle of the field. Yeah, I mean, he, he 
he gets knocked a little bit for those hands. I think that he, you know, that's just going to happen from time to time. These guys are going to come up with some drops, but then he, he makes some ridiculous wild plays, and he, he, he will make a tough contested catch. He'll make a catch over the middle and, right. not, and not be phased by, by, you know, the safety coming to make that hit. Um, you mentioned a little bit his after-the-catch ability. Uh, he was knocked by our buddy Lance Zerloin for having a uh, – one of his weaknesses was that he had a body type like a running back, which – uh, I was. It's something about his hips not being able to be, you know, loose enough or something. Right. And which I don't. I don't know that you necessarily need the the loosest of hips when you're crushing downfield plays. And right. the guys well, have to that, respect your. And that would be a little bit of a knock of, of why maybe you know that doesn't fit his skill set of moving into the slot because you need to be able to sink those hips to to change direction a little quicker. Um, but I to, think. But to me, this whole the body type of this running back that's not necessarily. I don't find that as a knock like I think it helped him with his after the catch ability I mean they were just trying to get the ball in his hands as much as they could you see him take some end rounds and you see him you right. know they're just trying to get the ball in his hand and he's he's aggressive he can lower his shoulder and get you a couple extra yards he's, he can sure. diagnose when the when the yak's about to be over with and and as much like DJ Moore in that aspect of like he's 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 built bigger and he's powerful and absolutely I, I, I like that like yeah He's one of my favorite players to watch. I really, I really enjoy this kid, and I, and I hope that he gets disrespected so that I can have a chance at getting him later in a draft. I, I don't know if he, depending on when your draft is and where he gets drafted, and if I you mean, get to see him in the preseason and he shows look, you I that. Think, I think this guy could could make a career playing outside and just running vertical routes if 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 you know right. if that's what it was. But I think he just could takes be a lot. Play. I think he can be a lot more than that. I think he's a much better athlete and more versatile than that. I do believe that he can move. I think he can and should be moved around in the formation. He should come out of the slot. Like he should come out of left and right sides. Like he, I feel like he can do everything and and still be a vertical attacker for your team. Right. Yeah. I mean, to sum up my final thoughts, like this dude is just so explosive, and he's just the best deep ball tracker that I've seen in a while. And he just always comes up with these big plays downfield, and he can make your play, he can make your day in one play. And I love that ability. And then he's got the potential to to grow that even more and, and work some of the more intermediate and short stuff. And I know I feel good about his ability to work at something and improve because, you know, let's take it to the, the interview. Like sure. We don't miss a good interview. There's an awesome little uh, cut up that the uh, University of Oklahoma State did to uh, they took out they, they went out fishing with him because he's a big fisherman. Right. Um, and and the, the lady there was like just kind of interviewing him there. They're sitting on the boat fishing and he was just talking about, you know, patience and hard work. That's really all he wanted to talk about, which you got to have patience if you're fishing. Right. I can't do it. Yeah. I, I, you got to be crushing beers. Yeah. I'll, to go I'll fishing. If you guys want to fish, give me some shade and I'll drink some beer. I'm right. Good. Exactly. Um, but, you know, he was talking about how a lot of guys, they give up too early. You know, they expect to be as good as Des Bryant in a week. And he's like, it didn't, Des Bryant didn't become Des Bryant in a week. Right. Des Bryant became himself because he worked freaking hard every day of his life to become somebody good. And like, um, he, he, he's, he gets a lot of that comparison to Des Bryant because, you know, he's at Oklahoma state and he has that downfield ability, but you know, he, he doesn't, he's not trying to become Des Bryant. He, he, he respects Des Bryant's game and molds himself a little bit like that, but you know he's just he's basically said if you if you put in hard work and you're patient, your time will come. And if you ask me, this kid's time is coming, right? And and you're gonna know and see that just because he ran a slower forty doesn't mean jack shit. Right. He he ran a slow forty, but so all that tape was just a was just a doesn't lie. mean like, anything. I mean, come on, man, get the fuck out of here, right? Ooh, heavy with the f bomb right there. Didn't yeah, like it. Nah, no. Nah, I mean, it's, it's it is true though. I mean, time after time, just winning on the vertical route. Like, so was he not fast enough to win on the vertical route? Did he just win on the vertical route because his technique was just so ridiculous that he like well, no, sign I mean, me up for that yeah, too? Then I mean, right. shit. Well, well, yeah, his technique was awesome, but he's also pretty fast. Right. When you line him up against on, some, right, it's two hundred thirteen pound dude. Good luck. Right. Good yeah. luck. No, I'm, Who's about to karate fight you? <laughs> I definitely or take am, you fishing. Like again, this is feed this you is, for a lifetime. This here. is why this conversation with these kind of top top end four or five guys here, I think for us is, is kind of getting a little tougher than we originally thought it would be. Right. Another no, one last little note about this guy. You know, I love it when they hand the ball off to the ref and they act like they've been in the end zone before. Yeah, I like that. That's a good sign of things wants, to come. Wants to celebrate with his team because yeah. he knows it took the team effort to get him down there. Right. 
and he knows he's going to score another touchdown so he doesn't have to act like an ass. Really like that, but you could already know that based off of a lot of other things. That this dude is, 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 is down to put in that hard work, and he's got some God-given ability. Maybe it didn't show up in blue numbers on your combine results, but whatever. Yeah, no, I mean. Look at look at Antonio Brown's dra- uh, player profile. Right. It's not impressive. No, look at I Jerry mean, Rice's. Like, just be like, I just, it's just well, I drains mean, when, the shit out of me. When you get back to the DJ Moore thing, like, obviously, you like the the thing that you like about all those blue numbers on there, and that he showed some decent stuff on the field. Is that what the what the potential ceiling could be? I saw what James Washington can do on the field. Right. I didn't need a test to tell me anything. Right. I'm, I'm good. I know what he can do. Right. You don't have to tell me shit about what he can do on the field. I know what he can do on the field. He can average 20 yards a catch and be for three years and be filthy. Right. And and mean and and just he wants it more than you do. He's going to win on that vertical route. He's not going to be denied. You may yep. be faster than him in underwear on but he's going to be just as fast and just enough just fast enough to beat you on that vertical route. Yeah, and then let me get them let me get that vertical downfield receiver, man. Right, and let I me I, get that dude. And I do think he can do much more than that. Just again, back to the Oklahoma State thing. That's not what he was. He, well, he was asked to play the role, and he crushed it. But right. he was asked to do other things, he wasn't terrible at it. I think this is a hardworking guy, a smart guy, a humble guy. Boom. Get in there, move him around. I think I think James Washington can do anything you ask him to do. Awesome. Let's uh let's let's call that a wrap. Let's go ahead and take another break. Let's get on to Cortland Sutton, and we'll be back with some Cortland. Cortland. Cortland, Cortland get out the yard, Cortland. Cortland. Bring the Brickershaw over here, Cortland. <laughs> <laughs> we think Cortland is like a, a British name. I don't know. We're, we're, we're dumb here. Anyway, <laughs> you, can, you can hit us up on Twitter and tell us so at the FF Dynasty. All right, we'll be back with more Married to the Game.